Well, let's get a quick photo and then say... Uh, I don't want to stand in front of Ori. Hold on. There we Welcome go. <laughs> to Nomad. Whoa, Park. what? Uh, it's the TNT. Sure you... All right, I'm heading out. <laughs> I'm currently at the site of the explosion a week later. But before we continue with this video, I just want to say welcome to season three of Nomad Craft. I'm super excited to be playing this season and happy you're here to enjoy it with me. We have a bigger group of nomads this time around and we all have some pretty cool plans for the season, so stay tuned for that. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a season finale for season two, but it's all right because season three will be even bigger and even better. If you guys are looking forward to the season, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With all that out of the way, let's get on with the video. All right, let's just get a bunch of wood. That way we can kind of go into the mines and just not have to worry about, you know, torches or brush tools and whatnot. Okay, we got some food now. Alright, so we've got our basic, you know, set of tools and food. I'll just give you guys a quick look. I mean, I accidentally put a bunch of logs into planks, which is, you know, my fault, but it is what it is, I guess. We got a bunch of meat here ready to go, so I think our next step is to find a cave. And all right, without a shield, this is gonna be tough, man, to take on this skeleton. Could kind of just go in there and just... I just need to go in. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god, man. What am I doing? What am I do- I need a shield. What am I doing? Just chilling in this little cubby, waiting for stuff to smell. Alright, let's go kill this skeleton now. He's all the way over there, man. Come here. Come here, buddy. Alright, you're dead. Alright, before we head up this cave down below, do, let's do a quick fit check. Decked out in iron gear, iron armor at least, got our shield. Stone tools still on the hotbar, but we still have, we have an iron pick and an iron axe. So we're, we're, we're going down there, hopefully you can find some good stuff. All right, so we are in this cave still, trying to light things up. It is pretty big, pretty scary, especially we don't have the craziest of gear right now, but we are trying to be safe and not die. Check out what we found over here though. We got ourselves a, what is this, a skeleton spawner? <gasps> Yo, that's awesome. Let's see what we got in the chest. And uh, nothing crazy, really, I guess. But hey, this is cool. And, oh, we got some melon seeds. That is nice. We found diamonds. Oh my God. Okay, let's just take care of these zombies quick and then we can mine them. Because these zombies are going to be a pain in the butt. Die, please. Our first diamonds of Nomad Craft Season 3. Okay, we're getting at least two. That's awesome. Please be more than that. Please, please, please. Come on. No. Oh, it's just two. All right. I mean, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. First diamonds. Let's go. There we go. After a little bit more mining and, you know, spending time down in the cave, this is kind of what we're going to walk away with. Got a bunch of redstone, some gold, lapis, five diamonds, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not too bad. Not as much coal as I would have wanted because, you know, the deeper you go, the less coal you find these days, which sucks, but it is what it is. And we got a bunch of iron and some building blocks, I guess. We will see. But right now, what I want to do is head back to the village where everyone else is at right now. And it's been a couple days since I have been on and I know the village has expanded a bunch so I want to go see what's going on over there. And yeah, I, th I think uh, it'll be good to see what people have started building, what farms we have, etc. Let's see who these people are. I don't have Optifine right now so I can't zoom in. It looks like we have Ori and Black. Hello? Jeez, you guys got a lot done. What is this pit over here? Oh. That is going to be the library, I think. Mouse is oh. doing that. Oh, yeah. I can already tell this is going to be awesome. We're yeah. villagers. I, yes, you're Yeah, we're, we're, we're just NPCs. Yes, that's, that's okay, right. yeah. Oh, man. I feel like the building has definitely stepped up this season compared to last. Oh, jeez. I'm feeling the pressure already. I might build a tree house, maybe? Just for a little starter, small starter. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. I don't well. know. We'll see. I have the tree for you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh. You don't have to. You don't. You don't want to live in my backyard. 
No, no, no. I show, to show me. Show wait, me. now I have to show you this tree. Come here. Mm -hmm. That's like we just. I just wanted spruce, so I right. Of course. I planted it, and now it's just ridiculous. Oh, I already see it. But yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like it's like one of the tallest spruce trees I've ever seen. Yeah. With no leaf. Yeah. This is. <laughs> I think that might be it. Maybe put another smaller one next to it and then like complain. Uh, yep. Something. Make a little like bridge or something. <laughs> yep. That's like, actually, that would be pretty awesome. Then you Just... could have two tree houses. Yep. And I have a neighbor. Yep. I'm pretty. I'm pretty quiet. Uh, no loud parties. <laughs> It'll be oh, fine. it already says owl's tree. Nope. Oh. <laughs> That's because she moved out. Oh, uh, gotcha. She said she moved out. She's gotcha. not allowed to move out though. Who's this little friend you got down here? Which one? The pink one? Oh, downstairs. Yep. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Uh, he was there was a hole here mm -hmm. and he was in it. And so I finally uh, covered him up. I I, nice, I nice. gave him a floor and so I told uh Dirty Dog this is where he was living. <laughs> yeah. The mud. This is too much pig. space for him. All well, right. I'll let, you, I'll let you do your thing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'll see you around, neighbor. Alright. Ow. Thank you. Watch out for the berry bushes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do. All right, so we made it to the village, and Ori just gave us a quick tour, and it looks like we're gonna be her neighbor right behind her house. I'm thinking we build like a little, not necessarily a tree house, but like something kind of that's suspended by the trees in the air. Because I guess a tree house is like in the, you know, leaves itself, but you know, I'll try to make this look somewhat good and cool. You know, I don't want it to be an eyesore for anyone, but I'm going to grind a little bit more materials and then we will get back here when we are almost ready to build. Ooh, what is this in the spawn village? Read the book. Once accepting the rules, please put your head on one of the podiums. Oh, oh. Doesn't look like there's space for mine anymore, but here, let's check it out. Welcome to Dirty Dares. Alright, so it sounds like Dirty Dog wrote this. Uh, rules. When you are hit with the dare stick, you have to do the dare if you participate. When you complete the dare, then you get the dare stick. Once you have the dare stick, you can dare anyone but the person who dared you. Date and start time. Dirty Dares will start one day after the Ender Dragon is killed. Respect. Dares apply to the prank rules. Don't dare someone to blow up someone else. Uh, someone else's base or anything like that. Fair enough. Okay. Well, once I get my head, I will definitely put it here and, you know, I'll want to participate in this. Sounds like a bunch of fun. Uh, just need to remember to do that. But let's go and grind some more materials. It also looks like they got a bunch of villagers already set up for trades and stuff. Although that is cool and, you know, I could use it technically to get my gear leveled up and get some armor and stuff. I think I'm going to just kind of try to grind everything out myself because that's, you know, that's where the fun in Minecraft comes. I'm not going to try to give myself a fair, I guess it's not an unfair advantage, but, you know, I'm not trying to make it too easy for myself. Why you always make it too lying? easy for myself. Oh my God. I think what I'm going to do now is just plant some trees to get the kind of first layer first kind of layout and then we will take it from there i'm gonna do most of the building probably off camera because this episode is running a little bit long and i hope you guys did enjoy if you did don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for the start of nomadcraft season three we're gonna be doing this and like i said it's gonna be a little bit of a different approach this time and i'm hoping you guys enjoy it I'm looking forward to building all the new mini games and trying out the different things oh we got some boat uh chest chest and boat whatever they're called the new feature for 1.19 but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next episode take care